Oh my goodness, what a time to be a Bruins fan. That's all I have to say about this. Oh man, they keep pushing the right buttons and I feel like everything they do, every day goes on, it's going to get more and more expensive going to a Boston Bruins game. And that just hurts me a little bit because I really want to go. I really want to go to another Bruins game. I know I just went to one, but man, I'm missing an opportunity here. It's frustrating, but I'm happy at the same time. It's a good problem to have. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Just Tell Me to Hit on YouTube and on Beatdown Takes. And today we are reacting to David Pasternak being extended by the Boston Bruins for an eight year, $90 million deal. Great deal for the Boston Bruins. They lock up their best player. They lock up their core in him, McAvoy, Lindholm, Taylor Hall, and the crew. The only issue that you're really going to have in the future is your two top centers in Bergeron and in Krejci. Other than that, your team is set for a long time, I would feel like. I feel like your team is set for a long time. I am happy as a Bruins fan. My expressions should show how excited I am as a Boston Bruins fan. David Pasternak is here for eight more seasons. I get to watch Pasta for eight more years in a Boston Bruins uniform. I absolutely love that. Yeah, for granted he could be traded, but the odds of that happening, very slim. Very, very, very slim at the end of the day. And Pasta, a generational talent, got paid. He absolutely deserves it. And he is a Boston Bruin for a long time now. Unlike another Boston team, right? This is what Boston sports teams should be doing, right? Keeping their homegrown talent, keeping their generational talent, signing good players, so on and so forth, winning every single season, or trying to attempt to win every single season, right? This is what Boston sports fans love, and the Boston Bruins are going all in, not just this season, not next season, but for the next four, five seasons, I feel like. I feel like we're set for the next four, five seasons. Of course, we're going to have to worry about Bergeron and Krejci at some point. But as of right now, we're good. We're all good at the end of the day. So we are reacting to the David Pasternak speaking after inking his extension. Leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoy these videos. Subscribe now if you guys are new. You guys know what to do. Go check out our website. Links in the description down below. A double upload today, by the way, here on YouTube. As we uploaded the Celtics vlog from last night. Great game until the last minute, I would say. That was kind of frustrating. But this isn't about the Celtics. The Bruins and the Celtics are the best teams in their leagues. Right now, honestly, it's a great time to go to TD Garden. And it's upsetting that tickets for these guys especially are expensive. I know I was just at that Islanders game. I wish I recorded it. But at the end of the day, I showed up late. And it was already like 3 nothing by the time I got there. I felt like it was too late. So I didn't even record it. But... I do want to hit a Bruins game. If there's any regular season game that I'm going to the rest of the way, it's for the Boston Bruins. It's not for the Celtics. I'm done with the Celtics for the season. I've hit every game I've wanted to with them. If I'm going to another regular season game, it has to be for these guys here. It just has to be for these guys right here. And without further ado, let's hop straight in this video. Oh man, I love Don Sweeney with a passion. He's a legend. Hello, everybody. Obviously, uh, uh, really excited day uh, uh, for me and, and my family, uh, which I would like to thank uh, my family, you know, my mom, uh, my brother for all the support. And we will talk about my, a trade that the Bruins uh, made, it's, and uh, I thought they were done. Amazing, you know. They made a nice uh, trade also Cameron again. And Swings uh, and, and, you know, uh, Mr. Jacobs for, uh, uh, you know, uh, getting it done and, uh, you know, obviously very... Uh, very thankful to be part of this organization and, and uh, sign, sign another extension. Uh, it's, it's been a home uh, for us, you know, so uh, we're really ex excited as a, as a family to, to stay here. We love you, Pasta. We love you. When Bergeron leaves, you're getting that captain. Oh, maybe uh, Martian, actually. I take I, that back. Honestly, After I, Bergeron, I Martian, and Krejci leaves, you're getting really, that captain. Uh, worry about it much. Uh, especially when I get to the ring, when to play, you know, uh, 
that was all of my mind, you know, obviously at home, sometimes you think about it and, and uh, uh, you know, it's how I said it's, on right now. it's, it's a little different it, by the way. you're older, um, it's nothing, you know, nothing. making a decision alone, you know, you, you have a family and, and uh, uh, so it's been definitely different, you know, than uh, when I signed the last one, you know, it's, uh, I was much younger and, and, uh, and stuff. So um, I, I wouldn't say uh, it affect me on the ice and, and at the ring, how I said uh, it's a bit more at home a little bit, you know, when uh, uh, sitting at home and, and thinking. Speaking of the devil, he just almost scored. How meaningful was he when you look at guys like Sparky, Crash, Marsh, that played their entire career in Boston? How much does making this commitment kind of set you down that path? I feel like if you lost Boston, this is the guys I that really hurts. Grew up with pretty much uh, my NHL career, and, and they been learning from them every day and, and you know uh, it's amazing uh, accomplishment to, to play your career in one one team and that's definitely uh, what was stuck in my head you know uh, uh, going into this uh, negotiation so um, I'm you know honor and, and uh, happy that that uh, you know I'm staying here and, and I can wait to get to work I feel like you could have gotten more on the open market too to be completely honest with you uh, with the oh, money course, coming you, in, you think about every situation, right? How I said, because uh, their popularity uh, has you know, been growing. He could have definitely gotten more no, than what he got. Always easy for you. So there's been uh, many things, you know, uh, that's been uh, uh, taught to through, you know, uh, through this process. But uh, of course, you uh, think about those options. But uh, you know, uh, how I said it it's at the end of the day, uh, how it's, this is home, and and uh, this is where we feel. Uh, um, that is our home away from home. Are the Bruins becoming the San Diego Padres know, or the New York Mets that, of the NHL? Yeah, uh, is this about to happen? These negotiations get, get tricky, you know, so you, you have to go think through the process, everything. And I always said, uh, um, you know, I'm super happy and excited to, to stay here. Yeah. I know this is Alec Kevin the NHL, uh, but I mean, like, in terms of not caring yeah, about the I mean, <laughs> 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 But, uh, uh, no, I, I was, how I said, honest uh, uh, with you guys. I, I legit didn't reach out to JP once. Uh, uh, you know, he's, he's done a great job, and obviously uh, uh, my old agency, you know, want to thank them as well, and they, they, they've been awesome. But, um, you know, he's great. He's experienced agent. He's done this, you know, he's done, doing it every single year. So... Uh, it wasn't my place. I, you know, I, I always waited till he called me and, and uh, kind of uh, just left it at, for him. Legend. He's here forever. He's here for a long time. He's here for a long time. And um, very happy to be able to watch David Pasternak for many years to come. He's our guy. He's been our guy for the longest time now. Alright, so I wasn't going to react to this video, but YouTube suggested this to be the next video that I watched. So, we're going to watch it. SDPN, we've reacted to them before. They, actually, there was a, these guys were the last time that we did a Bruins video. Uh, the Boston Bruins acquired Tyler Bertuzzi and extend David Pasternak. Tyler Bertuzzi, on a healthy season, is a 20-30 to 30 goal scorer. Last year, he had a career high in 60 points. And on a regular season, when he is healthy... He's normally around like 45 to 60 points in a season. So he's pretty solid. We give up a first round pick and a fifth round pick for him. First round pick is top 10 protected, which is nice for you. Because if somehow all things go wrong next season, which I don't think it should, you'll have that pick at the end of the day. But I don't think you're going to have it. And right now, the Boston Bruins are willing to part ways with their picks. Because they are going all in on a championship team. Are the Bruins about to turn into the San Diego Padres or the New York Mets of the NHL? But tra trading away their picks because they just don't care about their future? Which I'm totally for right now. I feel like right now for the Bruins, this is your window. This is your window to win a championship. You don't know how long you have with Bergeron and Krejci. I feel like you could probably have a couple more years with them. For the next few seasons, I think your picks really aren't going to matter at the end of the day. So, as a Bruins fan, I love the, what they're doing. I love what they're doing. 
is great for hockey. And I got to say on a side note, what a great trade deadline around the NHL. This really felt like an NBA trade deadline for the NHL. Love it. It's great for hockey. Adding popularity into the sport. I absolutely love it for him. And last time we watched this guy, he could play like, oh man, you guys know that there's other teams to go to other than the Bruins. And then here we are, another solid player going to the Boston Bruins. Let's see what he has to say on this trade here. I can't wait to see his reaction. Tyler Bertuzzi is a Boston Bruin. Endless pain. Je absolutely endless. Uh, oh, I, uh, all right. All right, no, we're gonna talk about it after. I think you know which way it's gonna go. Head on over to <laughs> well, Sports that Interaction. In the the Buck Drop Sports Interaction has you covered pre-game live betting on all major sports like baseball and prop bets. Want to bet? Head over to sportsinteraction.com slash sdpn and download the Sports Interaction app, but only if you're 19 plus. Please play responsibly. I mean, I can't help, but look at this from the Leafs' perspective because yeah. there's been Oh my god, he's a Leafs fan? I forgot about that. Oh, he is punching air right now. Oh, he hates the fact that the Bruins are just gonna be this good for the next four seasons. Oh, F in the chat for this Leafs fan here. <laughs> right now is a pretty good guess. At the time I am shooting this video, the Boston Bruins have 99 points they are first place about in the to have NHL. 100 the against the buffalo sabers is the carolina they're about to be the fastest team ever to reach 100 wins at current standing the boston bruins have 13 more points than the next closest team and if you're wondering about games as i've been saying is the bruins a huge if gap win that and then game, the second the best team will still be double digits in first carolina has 86 the next closest team is the devils with 85 and the next closest team in the Atlantic Division is the Toronto Maple Leafs with 82. The Leafs are second in the Atlantic Division. My team's right now, as far as I think, that could Boston. make a series so between the Bruins, Tampa, are the Rangers, heads because they've made some great moves recently, the first round, and the and Hurricanes, and maybe the Leafs. Winner, that is it. They have to take on, more than likely... The Boston Bruins, who, after getting oh my God, the Hathaway, Leafs who is a in the second them, round would be Dimitri fantastic. Orlov, I would love to knock off the Leafs them, in a second they go round out series and get again. Tyler Bertuzzi, who is a perfect fit for them. Here's the trade: Boston Bruins acquire Tyler Bertuzzi at fifty percent, so and they're retaining fifty percent of his salary. Love it. You? In exchange, low for risk, high reward. Twenty-four first round pick, and that's conditional with a 2025 fourth round pick. The condition on the first round pick for 2024 is its top 10 protected. Now that's kind of interesting because this season is kind of viewed as a last dance for the Boston Bruins. What? <laughs> Stop it, get some help. Dance? What the hell are you talking about? You wish this was a last dance for the Boston Bruins? Nah, we're good for the next four or five seasons. What are you talking about? I just it's unlikely that that rears its head, but if it does, they've protected themselves. Leaf which fans, is man. Smart and basically what you expect. Now there They're is more for our to this that actually allows the Bruins to make this deal. Taylor Hall, unfortunately, is going to be going on LTI. Oh yeah, he did just get hurt. Injury that is but right now, I mean, long enough to put him on LTIR. Doesn't really affect us much. Here. I'm sure you can connect the dots. I've seen He'll be a back lot by the postseason. That, considering it's March 2nd, the playoffs start in about five weeks, something like that. Will Taylor Hall be back in five weeks? My yes. bet is yes. So here is the Boston Bruins' current group of forwards, according to Daily Faceoff, and this does not include Taylor Hall. Marchand, or Nick Foligno. Bergeron, DeBrusque is the first Because he just got line. hurt also. Pavel Zaka with David Krejci and David Pasternak is the second line. They assume Tyler Bertuzzi is going to go with Charlie Coyle and Trent Frederick on the third line. Ew. With AJ Greer, Thomas Nosek, and Garnet Hathaway. Hathaway's on the fourth line! Oh my god, dude. This depth the Bruins have are so good. It's so good. What? It's a deep lineup, and Bertuzzi fits it well. Now, 
What is Tyler Bertuzzi? How does he fit it well? Well, he's a decently sized player, maybe slightly above average, but he's willing to use that size. He's willing to block shots. He's willing to hit. He's willing to be a nuisance. And he can score. He can set up plays. He can forecheck. He can do a lot of things that the Bruins are already pretty good at. Now, Tyler Bertuzzi has been in some controversies in recent years. He was the only player in the entire National Hockey League who didn't take the COVID vaccine, so he couldn't play in Canada. Which is tough, considering the Atlantic Division has three Canadians. I got no comment on that, but... There. Still does, actually. Last season, in 68 games, he was exemplary. With 30 goals, 32 assists, for 62 points. Nearly a point player and a 30-goal scorer. In an, in an and Pasternak just scored! A decent amount of time. This year, because of What injuries, a perfect day for Pasternak! In 29 games so far... Bertuzzi only has four goals and 10 assists for 14 points. And I've seen a lot of people say like, oh, he's not good. He's injured. He's washed. When are you going to learn? The Boston Bruins acquired Taylor Hall when Hall had, I, I think it was two goals from the Buffalo Sabres. I'll look it up so you don't have to. In 37 games with the Sabres, Taylor Hall had two goals and 17 assists for 19 points. In just Damn. 16 games, less than half of the games that he played with the Buffalo Sabres, in 16 games with the Bruins, Hall had eight goals and six assists for 14 points. And that's Damn. another guy he had a snake bitten Bruins season, absolutely fleeced the Sabres. All that. Bruins are obviously they absolutely decently fleeced them. confident enough that Tyler Bertuzzi is not only going to be able to play, he is going to be able to contribute to their team. He's going to be a depth piece. At very least, in the interim, he's going to be a decent Taylor Hall replacement. It's not, it's not a bad move. Oh, draft picks. You think the Bruins care about draft picks right now? The story no, earlier in the we season don't care. is We're good how for the, next the Bruins four or five prospect seasons. cupboard isn't exactly the most full in the NHL, and that could be a problem for them because they have some older pieces, and we don't know who's going to be back next year. Now if the Bruins re-sign Orlov and they re-sign Bertuzzi, in place in the NHL, we're good. They're we're solid. We're better. set. Their decor got better. Olmark has we don't need to make a pick. A bunch of in the well, NHL, you're going to have to worry about the second line center neutral. eventually, but this other than that... You go for it. You, okay, let's say you stink next year. You stink and look at your cup ring. All right? You win a ring. That's what you do. All deals come with risk, and you never know... Who's going to get hurt when? 2021, John Tavares goes into the Stanley Cup playoffs completely healthy. Game one of the playoffs, boom, concussion, neck, and knee injury. It's a decent move that makes the Bruins more the Bruins that, of course, comes with some risk, but they're the odds-on cup favorite, and those odds did not go down after today. Last thing, and I might as well no, mention while we're here, it's not a trade, but the Bruins did make a signing today for a player you might have heard of. The Boston Bruins goes, signed you might David Pasternak Eight years, $11.25 million against the cap. That's just an enormous thing for the Boston Bruins. Because I think that was heavily tied to what people were thinking about them next year. Is Krejci going to retire? Is Bergeron going to retire? And I think even more importantly, will David Foster and I leave for nothing? Because I think you can survive one of those things happening. I don't think you can survive all three. Even if Bergeron was to retire, finally. I mean, he's earned a rest. You but wish Bergeron would retire. retire. He got a couple Still more seasons left. Intact. If he wins yeah, the finals this year, Marchand, I mean, if he wins the Stanley Cup, guys, I think he definitely considers retirement for sure. But he's one of the best goal you wish that league. he would retire. Best goal you wish. In the league. He's one of the best wingers in the league. He's earned the race. The only thing that caught me off guard is I, I could have swore he said he would play for free and $11.25 million is. He uh, did? Hmm, <laughs> Somebody please I send me that. To take I want to see that. For the next eight years, put his money where his mouth is, and he decided to take $11.25 million, which I'm not going to fault him for because that's a lot of money. Would you like $11.25 million in one year? I bet you would. I would. Can I take that? I would take that. Cool. He's going to make that times eight. <laughs> to quote one exchange I saw on Twitter we today, all would. a Bruins fan said, it's a great day to be a Boston Bruins fan, to which someone replied, when is it not? So, what do you think exactly. of this trade? What do you think of the signing? I think everything is great here in Boston, in terms of the Boston Bruins. I love them. They are phenomenal. They're saving Boston sports right now. It's them and the Celtics saving Boston sports right now. Because without them two right now, oh my god, I don't know where 
Boston would be without those two play teams right now. I don't know where Boston would be without those two teams right now. Leave a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed these videos. Subscribe now if you guys are new. You guys know what to do. Go check out our website. Links in the description down below. It's been your boy, Jesse. And I'm ending this differently. Let's go Bruins. Later, guys.